Tony D and Little Joan in the background, and this is a screenwriter's rant on Rob Peace, starring Mary J. Blige, uh, about a kid who grows up, he's brilliant, but he grows up in a bad neighborhood, his dad is sent to jail, it's based on a true story and a book, and then he has a real chance to make something of himself, but he may throw it all away to raise the money to save his dad and get a lawyer and uh will he throw it all away will he save his dad um uh, it's you know an urban crime thing smash like and subscribe thank you for smash liking and subscribing check out my books based on the uh jersey devil the pioneers books 1 through 14 available at amazon.com don't forget kindle unlimited is free this movie's based on the best selling book by jeff hobbs I assume it's called the same thing. Um, it looks like an urban drama. One that you could imagine. So he grows up. Uh, back in the day, his dad may or may not have committed a murder. He had a gun. Did he commit it? Did he not? He goes to prison. But uh, the young kid continues his studies, get, gets accepted to Yale. And comes out to b rebuild his community, but at the same time he wants to help his dad by raising money for a lawyer. And uh, so he turns the crime. I'm not sure why he turns the crime to do it. You know, he seems like a brilliant kid. You'd think a brilliant kid would have a brilliant solution of some kind. But, okay, so he, he turns the crime to raise the money in a short time. And then... The cops are after him. So he's hiding the money here. Uh, and then they, they got a shot of like... I don't know if it's a courtroom. I don't know if this is a courtroom or a, like the mayor's office or something. So it's called Rob Peace. Because his name is Rob. And he's like, Rob Peace. Um, I mean... It's based on a book, so I would imagine the movie has more details, so that's that's good. Um, we have the, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of production people here. Let's see. Let's play. Oh, there it is. That That's what I wanted. Okay. Uh, based on the best-selling book, The Short and Tragic Life of Robert Peace. That kind of gives it away. Written for the screen and directed by... Chowetel? Chowetel e Giafor. Chowetel e Giafor, I think. Um, Jeff Hobbs wrote the book, The Short and Tragic Life of Robert Peace. So I guess his last name is actually Peace. His name's Rob Peace. Yeah, it kind of gives it away. Oh, Alex Kurtzman is one of the producers? I don't know about this. Rebecca Hobbs is one of the producers as well. I assume she's the wife or sister of Jeff. And Jeffrey Soros is an executive producer? What's up with that? Is that is that connected to the Soros? Huh. Weird. Um, it looks like your standard drama uh, in an urban setting. Uh, first act kid's brilliant, but they live in a in a crime-ridden neighborhood. Gee, I wonder who created those conditions. And uh, something happens, and the father goes to jail. Is he innocent? Is he guilty? We're not really sure. Is it his fault? Is he, is he morally responsible, or did he have to do what he had to do to protect his family? Uh, cut to a few years later, he's growing up. He gets into Yale because he's so brilliant graduates from Yale, I guess, and then goes back to his neighborhood to help the community. And uh, But his dad's still languishing in prison, and he has a chance to get out if only he could afford a lawyer. So the Yale graduate immediately turns to crime? I mean, I don't know. It seems to me you would have some other options. I mean, if you, if you manage to graduate from Yale, did he make no friends at Yale? Uh, somebody there, I mean, wouldn't loan him the money. 
uh, is there no way to start a charity and ask some of your former rich classmates for some money? I mean, how much money do you need to for a lawyer? I know it's expensive, but it's not like millions of dollars. It'd be like, I don't know, $100,000? $50,000? Something like that? I mean, I guess without it, you don't have the movie, but still. So he turns to crime to raise the money. Well, how does he even know about... I mean, how does he know what to do? You know? I mean, I get it. He lives in a bad neighborhood. Does that make him automatically knowledgeable about selling drugs? I, I don't know if it does. But he's super smart. So I guess he gets away with it for a while. And then the climax of the movie, I assume, is... The cops are closing in, and he's this close to getting his father out of jail, but then maybe he finds out he's actually guilty, but maybe there's some justification for it. I don't know. And the mother is saying, don't let him drag you down. So there's all this drama. The ending could, I mean, if it's a short and tragic life of Rob Peace, I assume he's killed at the end. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, but that's the book, so Hollywood may say, oh, the bullet missed, and he gets away, and his father's saved, and everything's cool. But I kind of doubt it. It feels like a downer of a movie. Kind of ends with he goes to prison too, but maybe the father gets out, or, you know. And now their their situation is reversed, and then the father has to visit him in prison until such time he gets out. Uh, or he throws his life away and then realizes his father's guilty and they neither one of them get out or he dies. I think he probably dies. Maybe he dies and his father gets out of prison. I don't know. It sounds sad. It's not my kind of movie. I, I don't like sad movies. I, I don't like movies where I kind of feel like the ending's right in front of me. But Mary J. Blige is, is, is in it. Uh, so if you like these kind kinds of movies, when's it come out? Uh, we don't have a we don't have a date. Weird producer credits though. Yeah, bit uh, bit weird. Anyhow, uh, that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Uh, check us out on the other platforms: the green one, the orange one, the black one, where other videos live. Because um, we do four videos a day. I will be. Tomorrow at the Elms in Cranberry, New Jersey, at 2 p.m. for my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. This is a senior uh, facility, so you need permission to be there, if or you're a resident or family. It's a little different. Um, but Saturday, open to the public, Clement Farms, uh, big blueberry festival, 10 to 4. That's on Saturday. And then uh, also on Saturday, I'll be at Chimney Rustic Ales, in Hamilton, New Jersey, from 5 to 9. So it's going to be a big day Saturday. Hope to see you there. We'll see you in the next one.